You know, we, we have been really actively engaged with uh, Alderman Irvin and members of the Black uh, Caucus really um, since back in the fall and particularly more intensively since October. Um, I met with uh, uh, Alderman Irvin last week um, and my staff continues to talk to he, he and other members of the Black Caucus. I think we'll, we're going to get there. I understand their concern. They want to make sure that this new law um, speaks to um, the inequities um, that have been fallen black and brown communities, um, particularly over the war on drugs. Um, we have talked about a number of things that the city itself can do. Our, our powers are limited to affect the law itself, but there are other things that I think we can do to build support, um, particularly around um, black and brown um, applicants that are going to be applying to get licenses. So I feel comfortable that we'll get there and we'll see. <clears throat> I'm sorry, Bill. What? Well, I mean, one of the things that, that every entrepreneur that's a small business person generally faces is access to capital. So I think there's some things that we can do using existing city resources um, to help facilitate that. I've made no secret of the fact that I, I would like to have the opportunity for the city um, to create a co cooperative, um, <clears throat> excuse me, cultivation um, center so that we can bring a professional in, let the professional run it, but then people will <clears throat> buy into the cooperative either with um, a modest cash um, uh, uh, investment or sweat equity, and then eventually after you know they learn the business from top to bottom, turn that over to them. So there are other things like that that I think that we can work on um, as a city, which we've um, been talking to members of the Black Caucus about um, or since, uh, since October. You know, look, this is a, a, a can I just can I just finish the thought? Um, look, this is a, a challenging issue. There's no question about it. This is a marketplace that was already created with the medical marijuana. The vast majority of the people that are the entrepreneurs and business owners um, are white men, and we know that. And we will work as a city um, to make sure that we give opportunities for other people to be uh, participants in in this thriving market. I'm sorry, Frank. Go ahead. Well, first of all, we've got to jump through the regulatory hoop, so we've been working on that uh, for some time, um, and hopefully that those we will get those roadblocks cleared. But I'm very serious about it. It's, look, this is a very, very expensive business to get involved in. Um, what I understand is uh, that the basics to be a cultivator requires about a 13 to $15 million um, uh, uh, investment. There are not a lot of people that that have that, particularly in a market that a lot of banks and other traditional uh, financial lenders won't touch. So I think the only way to really crack this nut is for the city to invest its own resources um, to get engaged, get, get um, you know, uh, um, diverse entrepreneurs involved in the most lucrative part of the business, which is cultivation. Um, we'll be working with um, city colleges in Chicago State that are opening up licensing programs um, to really teach every aspect of the business. Um, but that's, I think, an appropriate thing for the city to have an eye towards getting uh, involved with where we can jump, get through um, some of the regulatory hoops. Where and we continue to work on that. Well, we, have, we obviously have resources in TIF and NOF and, and other things and catalyst funds. So.